Hey guys, thank you so much for coming back to the Higher Media Productions channel. Today we're gonna jump right in and talk about three mobile editing apps that you can use to really take your content creation to the next level using your mobile device. So the first thing that we're gonna talk about is one of our favorite apps. It's great for on the fly editing. It's great for helping you really take your content to the next level and it is just a powerful tool that you can use for getting social media posts out faster with higher quality and this is called splice so it is super user friendly it is i think 3.99 a month for the subscription um, we would definitely recommend this to anybody who is really trying to uh just elevate your content right you want to make sure as a business owner as a creator that you are using your time wisely and if you are not adobe Pro, uh, premiere proficient this is a great tool where you can really edit on your mobile device or maybe you're out on the fly and you need to edit just mobily again this is that tool that you can use so highly recommend um this is a really amazing application so i'm going to kind of show you a little bit on how to uh, create a video in this application so Okay, I'm gonna open up Splice. I'm gonna hit new project. All right, I'm gonna go to my videos. Just gonna find a couple simple videos here that we could use. All right, this is perfect. We're gonna do those. So import your videos, whatever those may look like for you. Now this is what's really cool about this app is it can actually do the aspect ratio for you. Um, doesn't matter if you're trying to do a TikTok, Instagram reel, Instagram story, Instagram post, YouTube post, YouTube shorts, um, posting on Snapchat, and etc. So this is just again an amazing tool. We highly recommend it. I'm gonna go ahead and just name my project here test, and I use this more than likely for Instagram Reels or TikTok. Sometimes when you are editing in the specific applications, you run into a lot of problems. So like Instagram, if you are editing your Instagram Reels in the Instagram app, sometimes it crashes on you, sometimes your drafts get deleted. Um, so this is just a great way that you can actually make sure that your content is always there, your drafts don't get, de get deleted, and you're not doing work twice. And then when it comes to uploading to, um, or creating your content within the TikTok app, you kind of run into a few different things. So the, the biggest thing is when you edit your video and you post it, you will get that automatic download to your camera roll, but you're gonna have the TikTok logo in there. So you can't really post that to Instagram or YouTube Shorts. So if you don't want that watermark, highly recommend editing in an application such as Splice and then sharing that content to the specific platforms. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click Instagram Reels here. We're gonna hit Create. And then see, I have a couple different videos in here just off my camera roll. And what you're gonna see is your track. So this is, um, again, both of your videos put together. Now, where your yellow line is is where you are editing at. There's this little infinity sign in the middle and that just shows you that's where the next clip starts. So what I'm gonna do is show you some of the simplest tools within the application that can help you um, create some really cool content. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm actually gonna trim up my video to where I want it to start. So I'm gonna actually click on that track and I'm gonna drag it to the right and start it about there. And then that just gives me a good, a good couple seconds of a clip. So I'm also gonna then, right where I want it, drag the end of the clip to the left and then perfect. So that was about six seconds of that drone shot. And what I always like to do, unless you want the audio that's in the clip, I'm gonna go ahead and mute my clips, and then I'm gonna hit play and see what that looks like. Okay, so I actually think that was a little too long. I'm actually gonna shorten that just a little bit more, and then I'm actually going to speed it up. So how to do that, you're gonna go down to the bottom bar here. All the way at the bottom, you have your trim, volume, speed, filters, adjust, crop, all of those different things. So I'm gonna actually hit the speed, and I'm gonna speed that up just a little bit. And again, this is just all like creative. This is what you want for that content. You really get to utilize your creative juices and create something that you love. So I sped that up a little bit. I love how that looks right there at the 1.4, so we're gonna keep that. And then here, I did notice this is a really crappy video that I had uploaded, so I'm gonna actually go ahead and delete that second video. So in order to delete a video out of the track, you click on it when it highlights blue, then you'll see the different window that pops up. I'm gonna just hit delete. So I'm actually gonna go in and import a new media. So go down to the bottom menu bar, and then you're gonna click on media. Click on media again, and I'm gonna go back and 
import another video. So we can do that one. All right. So now that I have my new video imported, you can see that. Um, I'm going to now trim that second video down to what I would like. So let's go about there. And then in an easier way too, instead of dragging it back and forth, you can actually split your video, which is a really nice feature as well. So I'm going to go right to where I want to split that video and I'll delete the rest of it. Let me just double check here. Yeah, so we're going to go about here and I'm going to click on the thing, make sure it's highlighted blue, then I'm going to hit split. So now what I can do is go to, now that it split that video into two, I can reselect the second part of that video and I can delete that. And now I'm left with an eight second track here. That is something that I am happy with. Okay, so now I'm gonna go through again and I'm just gonna find that perfect spot. I'm gonna shorten that just a little bit. Perfect, okay. So now I'm gonna show you how to do a couple different things. So we can add text, which is down at the bottom on that menu bar. I'm gonna hit text again. And I am going to type in, just say, a day in the life. Perfect, okay. So now you see how my text is not aligned with the first video. In order to move that over again, it's the same thing as the other track. You're going to select it, make sure it's highlighted blue, and then drag it over to the left. So once you do that, you can actually move your text wherever you want it in the video. I always like to have mine in the middle pretty much 90% um, of the time. So I'm gonna leave that right there. I'm also gonna show you how you can edit your font. So you can edit um, your what you have for your verbiage here. Um, down at the bottom, you can change your color. Um, I always like white unless you just have something a little bit different, but white is my favorite. Um, then I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna reselect that. Then you have your font selection, so you can utilize um, any of the different font selections that they have here available to you. I personally like something just a little bit classic, so I'm gonna do TikTok too. And then you can actually do something else, and I'm gonna add a background color here. So you can pick any of the colors in the background, and let's just do like a blue, accents the orange, and there you have it. So that is how you can edit your text and get it the way you want it. So now that it actually covers up the drone, I'm gonna move that down a little bit. Well, now you have your text in there and I'm gonna show you how to do a couple other things. So you can then go to the little infinity sign. That is where your video ends like we touched on previously. But what you can do with that is you can add transitions. So depending on your editing style, what you like, what you want to present to your audience, um, there's a bunch of different creative transitions that you can use. I'm going to show you one of my favorite. It's the zoom in and out. And that just gives you a nice, very clean um, transition into your next video. And I'm going to go ahead and rewatch that here. Make sure that it is the way that I want it. Perfect. And then we have our second video here. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to add an audio so a few things when editing in here the biggest things that i personally use this for is adding text adding a transition and adding audio so those are really the three simple editing tools there's a lot of different things that you can do within the app you can be super creative i personally like a little bit more professional clean editing style so i really kind of minimize the different things that i do um, and then what i'm going to do here is i'm actually going to add another text and we will do drone or behind the scenes drone shoot. Perfect. Okay. And then you see how my text is actually aligned over to uh, the side here. What you can do is hit this align button down at the bottom. Again, make sure you have your text highlighted in the track. I'm going to select in the middle. Perfect. And I'm going to drag that down. So this is um, another great tool. So when you see when I'm moving this, you can see there's that shadow box on the few on the bottom here. So there's your circle, which is where your profile photo would be. Um, and then this is where your caption and your text would be within the Instagram app. So it's actually a really cool thing because it shows you, like if I put my text down here, it's gonna get covered um, by the Instagram features in the actual Instagram reel. You can also see on the right where it has your little heart and your, um, your send and all of the different features that are in Instagram reels. So in order to keep your text where people can see it on the reels, um, you can actually place that where it should be. So I always like to place it again kind of in the middle, but I'm gonna leave it about right there so we can see what's on the um, 
on the screen here. Perfect. Okay. So now that I have that, I have both of my texts, I have my transition, now we're gonna go in and we're gonna add some audio. So go down to your main menu on the bottom and select, again, you could do a voiceover, you could do different sounds, so like drums, whatever it may be. Um, I don't personally use that one. Voiceover is a great one if you're doing like a day in the life or you have a story to tell, you can go ahead and hit your voice right there and it will give you the record option. Um, you can see that right there, but we're not going to do that today. What I'm going to do is just select something trending. So go into the music section. You have all these different selections that you can choose from. I personally like the energetic, pop, happy. Um, those are all some really great ones. And again, it's totally up to you. This gives you free reign to really be creative with your content, especially as a editing on a mobile device. There's a lot of different features. So I'm going to just select trending. This changes quite a lot. Um, so for time's sake, I'm just gonna click like the first one here. Okay, that's a little slow. That one's a little meh. Sure. Okay, so once you import that, then you see it kind of um, imported where my yellow line was. So what I'm gonna do is grab that, move it all the way over to the left and hit play and see how that lines up. Okay, and then in order to get it to be on the whole video, I'm gonna drag that over to the right. Okay, and then what you're gonna do here, and this is a personal preference as well, um, you can see how it's kind of like an abrupt end at the end of the audio. So what I always like to do is go to volume, and then on the far right here, there's the fade option. I'm gonna do fade out. I love always doing a fade out because it's um, it just kind of finishes the video and gives it that that um, nice touch, I guess. And that again, that's a personal preference. So if you hit play and you're listening, it kind of fades out at the end. So I always love to do that. You can always do a fade in too if the music starts off really loud. Um, it just is easier on the ears and it kind of just goes along with the video personally, I think so. So now that I have my video here, again, you can create these videos I've as long as you want, as short as you want. Um, for short format video, I highly recommend staying under that 30 seconds. Um, and there's a lot of trending audios that are on platforms as well. So uh, if you don't want to use the audio that this app has, you can always edit your video in here and then go to Instagram or TikTok and add your own trending audio, which we do all the time as well. So now that I have that, I'm gonna go ahead and hit export. So in here you have a few different resolution options. You can do your 4K or 1080p. I would never do 540 or 720, um, but Instagram doesn't necessarily support 4K. And um, so we always recommend doing the 1080p. So I'm gonna go ahead and export that. And then once you export it, it just goes right to your camera roll and you have your video. So then you can go ahead and upload that to Instagram, TikTok, YouTube Shorts, whatever it is that you're trying to do. So this is just one of our favorite tools for editing on the fly. Um, mobile editing, again, if you're not Adobe proficient, this is a great tool for you to take your content to the next level and not have to deal with the, the pains of editing within each application in itself. It gives you the opportunity to repurpose your content without having watermarks and all of that good stuff. So really great tool, highly recommend it, and you should give it a try. So that is the first um, tool that we would recommend to you. Again, today we're gonna touch on three different mobile editing apps that are our favorites. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up my second favorite is called CapCut. This is a great tool. You can actually edit just as you did in Splice in this as well. Um, I personally like Splice. It's just something that I've used for a couple years now. But what I would do for um, CapCut is use this for captions. So on Instagram, on TikTok, on YouTube Shorts, you always see these like new um, captions that are really popular across all the platforms that are like colorful and um, really just take your your speaking voice to the next level when you're trying to create your content. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to find a video here in my camera roll that is of um, me talking and show you quickly how to do that. So just one second. So again, cap cut. 
I think the um, subscription on this is, again, just a few dollars a month. Highly recommend it, especially if you are doing a lot of um, speaking in your content. When you post a video with no captions, sometimes it just is a little stale. It doesn't have that oomph that you want. So adding something just as simple as a caption and adding some color on there can really keep that viewer on your content. Um, and then the shorter the better. So what I'm gonna do here is just find a video to upload. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to upload my video. I finally found one that I have. So I'm gonna add the video here. Perfect, okay. So you can hear, again, this is me talking and this is just my favorite tool to use for this specific application. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit text down at the bottom. And what I always use is the auto captions feature. Again, this is about being efficient with your time and getting some high quality content out there that people are gonna want to watch. And this is a great way to do that. So we're gonna hit auto captions. Um, I'm gonna do from video in English, obviously for us. And then um, there's all these different features right here, but we're not gonna worry about those right now. I'm just gonna hit start. So this is gonna generate auto captions for you. It takes just a second, perfect. Okay, so now you can see I'm gonna hit play and it already has all the new track down at the bottom with all the text at the, at the bottom. So now that you have your text imported, I'm going to select it and show you how to edit that. So you can either do um, the style of your font, you can change that, again, being creative to what you like. I'm just gonna do something a little funky here. So let's do um, like a shadow and we can do an animation. So we can do the pop up, perfect. And then let's show you what that looks like. So once you edit in the first one, it applies it to the rest of them to keep them um, synchronized in the same format. So that's something that's really nice. And again, this is all automated. It is super easy, super user friendly, and it's just a great way to really elevate your content. So now what I'm gonna show you to do as well, and this is something you have to select each track at the bottom for. So now if you want to put some emphasis on one of the words, I know again, this is just going off of like what you see on social media and you always see sometimes like a word that's highlighted that brings emphasis on your caption. So you can actually go ahead and click on your track uh, text at the bottom that you want to edit. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight the word audience. I'm gonna hit my little arrow right there. You can see in the text box that it's highlighted. Then I'm gonna go to style. And just for this word, just to again, bring that extra emphasis, I am going to change the color of it to a blue. And then hit that arrow again at the bar right of your text bar. And then you can see here, perfect. Then you have your uh, word that you want emphasized in color and again there's all different fonts all different um features that you can use for the text and you always want to just make note that when you are using this go ahead and make sure to watch your text all the way through because this is an auto caption so sometimes there might be a couple things that are funky um and sometimes maybe you say um you can take out that word all that good stuff and just edit that text to make sure it's perfect but again you want to be efficient with your time and this is a great tool to add captions to your content so your view your viewers like to digest it and it gives you that professional look so this is our second favorite tool and then also with i'm going to finish up i always like to delete the cap cut thing at the end they have their own little logo that comes in and we don't want that so we're going to delete that so in order to delete that you go ahead and just hit delete perfect now again at the top it says 1080p um that's what you're going to download that in perfect and then you're going to hit that little arrow to export and it's going to go ahead and pop into your camera roll so that is our favorite app for mobile editing number two so CapCut again super um inexpensive user friendly and there's a lot of features on there that we didn't touch on today but get in there highly recommend it and be able to use this for your mobile editing so the third and final mobile editing application that is our personal favorite 
um, is called Remney. And what Remney does is it takes a low quality photo um, and actually turns it into a higher resolution, giving it that definition um, and just overall making your photo or video look better than it was when you took it. So sometimes when you're out on the job, sometimes when you're on the fly and you take photos, um, sometimes they turn out blurry and that's just the way it is. If you don't have a new phone, um, you have maybe a little bit of an older phone or older device, you will get that pixelated video or an, and photo. So this is a great application that can turn that into a higher resolution. So I'm gonna go ahead and open my Remini app. And then once you do that, I'm gonna import uh, some content here. Okay, this is a decent example. Okay, so now I'm gonna find a photo that maybe isn't in the highest resolution. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit enhance. And again, this takes something that's pixelated and puts in the definition and makes your photo or video a lot better than it was to begin with. Um, okay, so now here you can see this go went ahead and it brightened my photo and it added definition to the photo, which is really nice. If I go back here, you can see it's a little fuzzy and it's not the best because the lighting was either not 100% or just whatever, for whatever reason it didn't turn out the way that you wanted. But this goes in here and it adds that definition. So this is our third and final um, favorite mobile editing application that you can use today to be able to really elevate your content and utilize your mobile device for putting out that high quality content. So definitely recommend Splice, CapCut, and Remini. We're not getting paid for this video. This is just three tools that we are recommending to you and we hope that you use them today. Thank you so much for joining. We hope that you find these tools helpful. Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much. We'll see you soon.